Hi, this is Alpha Uzaini Har from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is measures of dispersion. Number three, average deviation. We have already discussed the first two measures, range and quartile deviation. Roughly gives us some idea of variability. The range of two series may be the same, or the quartile deviation of the two series may be the same. Yet the two series may be dissimilar. Neither the range nor the quartile deviation speaks of the composition of the series. These two measures do not take into consideration the individual scores. Am I right? But the method of average deviation or the mean deviation, as it is called sometimes, tends to remove a serious shortcoming of both the methods that we see in range and quartile deviation. If you want to discuss more about the topic range and quartile deviation, you can refer our previous two videos. The average deviation is also called as the first moment of dispersion, and is based on all the items in a series, unlike range and quartile deviation. Average deviation is the arithmetic mean of the deviations of the series computed from some measure of central tendency, like mean, median, mode. All the deviations being considered positive. In other words, the average of deviations of all the values from the arithmetic mean is known as mean deviation or average deviation. Usually, the deviation is taken from the mean of the distribution. Let's see the formula to find the mean deviation or average deviation. Summation of x minus x bar divided by n. X bar is nothing but the mean, or this can also be written in other form. Summation of absolute value of the d divided by n. This symbol is called the sum total of summation or sum total of. X is the score. X bar is the mean. N is the total number of scores. Sometimes this is mentioned as capital M, which will denote the mean, and this will be denoted by capital N. That also refers to the total number of scores. And this d, d means deviation of individual scores from the mean. So this is the formula to find the average deviation. Now let's see how to compute mean deviation. Same like range and quartile deviation topics, we are going to discuss examples for both the types: ungrouped data as well as grouped data. Now let's start an example with an ungrouped data. Here is an example. A set of data is given. Find mean deviation for the following set of variables. Okay. In order to find mean deviation. We first calculate the mean for the given set of observations. I'm going to write all the information in a table form so that it can be displayed. All the information can be displayed in a small space. Okay, I'm going to arrange these numbers. I'm not going to arrange these in ascending or descending. I'm just going to enter the numbers in this form. So to find the mean, hope you all know how to find the mean. Just add all the information and divide it by total number of data given, 55 plus 45. So you should add all these numbers divided by. So there are 10 data given. Am I right? So divided by 10. Let me show everything in a table form. I have written the serial number so that you can understand how many number of data is given. And the first column, I mean the second column, is the data. Total number of data. Just add everything. Summation of x is sum total of x is four hundred and sixty, and total number of data given is ten. So to find the mean, we just have to divide the sum total of x divided by n. Am I right? So four sixty divided by ten is forty six. That would be your mean. Now let's add one more column here. Let's find deviation from the mean. I mean x minus m or x minus x bar. You can just include this in your steps so that you may not miss what the mean is. Now let's find the deviation from mean x minus m. You have to subtract the mean from these numbers one by one. So 55 minus 46 would be 9. 45 minus mean 46 would be negative 1. 39 minus 46 would be negative 7. So like that, you have to create one more column. Hope you are getting the same values. You can double check it. We consider only the positive numbers. Am I right? We just take absolute value. Am I right? So let's add one more column. Let's find the absolute deviation. I mean, we just ignore the sign. So absolute value of x minus m is just write all the numbers without the negative sign. After that, find the total. So you have to find the total of x and total of absolute value of x minus m. Hope you are clear with this table. 
if you are writing everything in step wise that is there is no problem at all but if you are entering all the information in the table you will not miss any data and the steps will be very clear and the calculation mistakes will be completely avoided okay now let us use the formula to find the mean deviation average deviation or mean deviation both denotes the same thing so formula is summation of d over n or summation of x minus m over n just divide this by this okay let's enter the formula here is the formula just plug in the values you got from the table so 56 over 10 is 